Hello, Davenport, Toronto. Uh, I'm Julie Zerowitz, I'm your Member of Parliament, and this is my Monday video for the week of April the 19th, 2021. Today's a historic day. Uh, the House is in session, uh, and our Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, Christian Freeland, is going to be presenting the first federal budget in two years uh, in Canada. Uh, we were delayed last year because of the onset of the pandemic, uh, but we have a huge budget that will be introduced. I really hope that um, you uh, take the time uh, to uh, read through some of the key details that are going to impact your lives and life, uh, lives of all Canadians. Uh, just go to uh, either any of my social media feeds, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, at Julie Zerowitz, uh, at Julie Zerowitz uh, is my uh, tag, or go to my website uh, and uh, juliezerowitz.ca and you'll be able to grab a summary there. You are also invited as a Davenport member uh, to uh, my uh, uh, Davenport uh, Federal Budget 2021 uh, debrief session this uh, Wednesday, April the 21st at 7 p.m. Uh, it's a 700-page budget. There's lots of information to relate to you. Happy to take your questions. Uh, please join me uh, again 7 p.m. this Wednesday. Sign up on my website, juliezerowitz.ca. Just go to the Davenport tab and go to events or just scroll down. And the very first thing you should see is a sign up for, for this event. Um, I also want to relay to you that I've been working quite hard with many of my colleagues uh, just to see how else the federal government can step up to support Ontario um, as uh, and Toronto as it's going through a really, really difficult third wave. Um, so it's not only Toronto, but it's also the GTA that's really experiencing sort of a huge increase in COVID positive cases. Um, so the federal government uh, made a huge announcement yesterday. Uh, I've been posting on my social media feed, so I hope you've seen it. Uh, and essentially, we're taking additional measures to support uh, on uh, Toronto and Ontario. We're doing everything we can. And if you have any other ideas about what more we can do, please let me know. We are we are sending healthcare staff from across the country uh, to Toronto, to the GTA, uh, to basically help with the shortage at our hospitals. We're also... Um, ensuring, so the federal government is ensuring that rapid tests are being sent in directly to municipals that are uh, that are hit the hardest. So Toronto, Mississauga, uh, Brampton uh, are three that, that come to mind and directly to workplaces um, so that those rapid tests uh, get in there and uh, help support and minimize the number of COVID-19 um, um, cases. We're also investing 84.2 million to support voluntary safe isolation sites. Um, that amount is actually for across Canada. There's a certain portion going to uh, Ontario, but a big chunk is going to Ontario. The rest of the numbers are just for, for Ontario, by the way. Um, the minister, uh, Minister Bob, uh, Bill Blair, has also uh, announced that we have two big mobile health units. So they're kind of like extra field hospitals that we have put up, I believe, one at Sunnybrook and I believe the other one is in Hamilton, Ontario. And that's to help with the extra capacity at our hospitals uh, that are not COVID related. Uh, so that's in place. And that uh, agreement has been extended till the end of June. Um, the federal government's also sort of uh, brought in uh, the Canadian Red Cross with mobile units. Uh, they're basically standing on the ready uh, here in Ontario until the federal, until the Ontario government decides that they want to use them. So we have them ready uh, and on, uh, on the ground uh, and uh, ready to sort of help with the vaccination efforts. Um, and then uh, we've provided some additional services like additional drugs, additional PPE, additional sort of uh, virtual health services, uh, dollars, that kind of stuff. But I think the key message for everyone is that we at the federal level is going to do absolutely everything we can to help uh, Toronto, to help uh, the GTA, to help Ontario get through this current phase. On the vaccine front, you know, you are going to hear a lot of where are the vaccines Canada is third in all the G20 countries, not G7, G20 countries, in terms of uh, having uh, vaccines uh, delivered to, to our countries and, being, uh, and our vaccination rates. So we're third after the US and the UK, which is outstanding given the fact that the whole world is going after these vaccines. And so I'm really proud of our government, really proud of our leadership uh, to be able to bring in these vaccines. And we're very privileged as a country. So they're coming. 12.7 million vaccines have already been delivered to Canada. 9.2 doses have been administered. And then 
on Friday, Pfizer uh, has uh, has also uh, signed another agreement with us for an additional eight million that's coming. It's going to sort of make up for some of the Moderna that's not coming in, and there's about I think half a million of Moderna that's not coming in, but that's going to be more than covered by the eight additional million that we're getting from Pfizer. And then if you don't know this yet, uh, Ontario did announce that AstraZeneca uh, vaccine is available to those who are 40 and over as of tomorrow, which is April the 20th. So that's it for me today. Uh, stay home, stay safe, and please help stop the spread. Have a safe week, Davenport.